What's up, y'all? It's Ryan Martell here, Martell's Movie Madness, and today I'm going to be ranking the Hellraiser franchise. Uh, of course, this is strictly the movies. I don't do books here. I don't do comics here. Just movies. 11 movies in the franchise, and this is going to be a quick overview. Uh, I intended on doing this video back in October, uh, which is when I actually watched a lot of the, most all of the movies um, for the first time. Uh, I'd only seen one through four before, and I watched all of the other, the later sequels, and uh, man, some of those were pretty good. Some of them were not at all. So yeah, here it is, franchise ranking for Hellraiser. We have such sights to show you. Number 11, we are coming in at my least favorite. I feel like it's a lot of people's least favorite, though. Uh, this is the one uh, that you see the memes about, where it's if you buy a uh, pinhead off of Wish, and it's got the picture of the guy. I'm talking about Hellraiser Resolution. Uh, Hellraiser Revelations, and uh, yeah, this one's just not, the story doesn't really hold much weight, the effects are bad, uh, it just overall feels very cash grabby, uh, despite it being released straight to video, I believe, uh, which is like insane, because why even do a IP if you're going to just straight to video it? But that's neither here nor there. It's not fun, not good at all. Uh, so yeah, thank y'all. Oh fuck, shit, titty. Earth is pain. Each nail, each new square of flesh, ranges you further from the flash of the existence you knew before. All right, number 10, Hellraiser Inferno. Like I said, I don't really remember details about these movies. I had made my ranking when I was like watching them back in October of 2022. So I don't really remember much about Inferno. Apparently I liked it just a little more than uh, Revelations, but not more than the rest of the franchise. So there you go, number 10. Oh yes, Joseph. Oh yes. You have forsaken yourself. Number nine, Deader, Hellraiser Deader. Uh, this movie is just, meh. It's quite obviously better than two other movies in the franchise, but once you get past part three, once you get past three, they're kind of like mostly forgettable movies. Um... There's one of the later sequels, or actually two of the later sequels, I'll say, that were pretty decent. Uh, but none of them were really, like, outstanding or anything until uh, 2022, when the, the remake. I did like that one quite a bit. Seems that evil does run in the family. Number eight, Hell World. Uh, Hellraiser, Hell World. This one is uh, unique. It has a cool, really cool premise. It suffers from the budget being so low uh, that it can't really properly execute the premise. Uh, but overall, I thought it was pretty good. You know, like I said, a lot of these later sequels, there's nothing really to write home about, but. Hell world, it's fine. Welcome. Welcome to hell. Number seven, Hellraiser 4 Bloodline, or just Hellraiser Bloodline, I think. Maybe, I don't remember. Um, either way, this is the one where they kind of like show a backstory of the Lament Configuration box and 
it kind of ties into the modern day things that are going on. But uh, not great. Honestly, it's kind of boring. It drags a lot. Uh, there's some cool stuff going on in there. Like you got Adam Scott randomly in it. And uh, that's about it. Yeah. I am pain. Number six, Hellraiser Hellseeker. This one, if I remember correctly, is one where there are people who are actually trying to become Cenobites or become part into the sucked into that world. I don't really remember, but for some reason it's ranked higher than four. And uh, I remember enjoying it quite a bit. Uh, this one may be. Uh, there's one I know for sure in the franchise that was written as a completely different movie, but then they kind of put all the Hellraiser stuff in last minute. Uh, I don't think that was this one, but it could have been. I'm super professional. I do a lot of research before I make these videos. But y'all, I said, like I said, I watched these back in October and did research then, and I've forgotten literally everything. But I just wanted so badly to get this video out for you guys. Which do you find more exhilarating, Trevor? The pain or the pleasure? Personally. I prefer pain. Number five, Hellraiser Judgment. Uh, this one is the next to the, the... Okay, so the most recent one is the 2022, and then there's Revelations, and then right before that is this one, Hellraiser Judgment. Uh, this, one's actually, this one's actually really good. Like, I'm not going to lie to you. I was more entertained by this one than any of the other later sequels, obviously. And, uh, yeah, I thought it was really good. It has a nice, uh, a, a good looking, it has a good looking pinhead. It's got some other good looking Cenobites and it's just kind of eerie and it really captures the, uh, the basic vibe of the original three movies for me or the original two. Cause three is kind of like, we're going full blown balls to the wall sequel here. Uh, but yeah, I, I liked Hellraiser judgment. And the Lord saw that the sin of man was great on the earth and that all the thoughts of his heart were evil. There is process order to what we do. Send him back. back. Or Hell to pay. Hell to pay. Don't test me. Number four, Hellraiser 2022, the Hulu Hellraiser, of course. Um, uh, all these, any kind of requel or reboot that comes out, it's always really polarizing with people. It's very rare that you get one that is unanimously loved. Uh, I do think I saw more people that liked this one than didn't like it, and I would be a part of the liked, because obviously it's my fourth overall in the franchise, so uh, I thought it had the general vibe that the first two have, which are the best. Uh, it has Clive Barker as a producer, which he doesn't, when he's involved in his shit, he, he keeps it fucking tight, and it was tight. I thought it had an interesting story. I thought the characters were realistic, uh, which is another thing people complain about characters being annoying when they're too realistic. And these people are real people. These are people you know or people that you might hate in real life, and that's fine. But you can't say that the characters are annoying and that's a bad thing. It's just that's who they're supposed to be. So yeah, I liked Hellraiser from 2022. Sue me. All right, number three, we're getting down to the nitty gritty, and I know I'm going to turn some people off here. There's going to be some people mad at me. You're going to throw stuff at your phone or computer screen, whatever you're watching this on. The original Hellraiser, that's what I'm saying. The first movie in the franchise is number three. Uh, 
I love this movie. Don't get me wrong. I love it for what it is. And I saw it on the big screen and it looks really fucking cool. And then, but like, it's also kind of like a little bit draggy compared to three and two, uh, which I know a lot of people are going to say, what do you mean? Part two is a lot more slow, but yeah, but it's interesting. There's a lot of lull in one that isn't there in two. I think maybe I'm just fucking talking out of my ass, but either way, I don't really, I don't, I like one, but I don't like it as much as two and three for me personally. My God. Come to daddy. <laughs> Number two is going to be Hellraiser 3 Bloodlines. Um, I like this movie so much. I would go as far as to say I love this movie. There are so many people who hate this movie because it's the one where it kind of uh, Pinhead and crew become main characters and there's a lot of one-liners and quips and whatnot and it becomes more of a uh it has more camp than the rest of them i guess i should say i guess i could say uh but i love it for it i love it for that i love the dickhead uh douchebag dude i love that uh terry farrell's in it that plays jedzia dax in uh deep space nine I had watched this movie I don't know how many times and it took me watching Deep Space Nine and then re-watching this movie to figure out that that was the same person. And uh, yeah, I think it's a great fucking movie. I think it's awesome. And as far as third movies in a sequel go, like in a, in a franchise go, it's a very strong third entry. I am the way. <laughs> And finally, last but not least, number one, Hellraiser 2, Hellbound. It's Hellbound, Hellraiser 2. Um, but, yeah. What can we not, what can we say about this movie that hasn't been said a thousand times? Much better by legit horror journalist. But I will say a few things about my favorite Hellraiser movie. We got Skinless Julia, which is fun, fucking fantastic. We've got the the crazy insane doctor that is like basically sacrificing his patients to uh the cenobites to leviathan and just the uh the scene with the guy who sees the maggots crawling all on him and he's got the razor blade and he's just tearing at his skin on the mattress it's just it's incredible Everything about this, from the visuals to the story to uh, just the, the the sheer epicness of it for the scale of a uh, movie that it was, is incredible. So yeah, Hellraiser 2, Hellbound, my favorite Hellraiser movie. Let me know if you disagreed, agreed. Give me your ranking down in the comments. Make sure you subscribe, like the video. Uh, like I said, I know this one's a little bit thrown together last minute. Uh, not really last minute because I had planned on doing this for a while. But uh, I felt like I owed you guys. And if you guys hate this video enough, I'll do a redo one day. I'll rewatch everything and do some more research. Uh, I am working on a Star Trek um, franchise ranking, which I do want to rewatch most of the movies because I can remember a great deal of some of them. Uh, the ones I watched more recently, but I do want to rewatch a great deal of them before I do that and put the proper effort into it. Um, plus I think I've watched those like way longer than I watched the, uh, Hellraiser. I was waiting, I was actually waiting on the fourth Kelvin movie to come out before I did, uh, the Star Trek franchise ranking, but now that it's looking like that might not be a thing... I'm going to go ahead and uh, move on with that. So yeah, 
And the Scream franchise ranking, of course, has been postponed another year or two because of the fact that they've greenlit Scream uh, 6, 7. 6, 7? Scream 7. And, uh, yeah, so... I don't want to do the franchise ranking, then the new movie comes out, and then now i got to do another franchise ranking because the new movie came out, and blah, 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 blah. But, you know, thanks for watching. Now let's watch some fucking movies. No. 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 It is not hands that call us. It is desire.